Hi, I'm Adam, and in this video, I'm going to be revisiting the A500 Mini. In fact, it's right there. And specifically, I'll be looking at the new version of firmware 1.1.1. So let's jump into that right now. To download the latest firmware for your A500 Mini, head on over to this site. The link is in the description. The first thing that we see is that retro games recommend unplugging the mouse before applying the update. And of course, ensure that your USB drive is formatted using FAT32 with a master boot record. Otherwise, the update may not be detected. Retro Games also advises that only one gamepad is connected during the update process and that the USB drive is directly connected to the A500 Mini and not via a USB hub. The new feature that I'm most excited about and, in my opinion, is the feature that just made the A500 Mini better is support for ADF or Amiga Disk File Images. This is an image of an Amiga floppy disk and can now be run directly from the USB drive. The full feature instructions can be found here. I shan't read through these in detail since you know where to find them now if you want to take a look yourself. OK, let's download the update. This update is just over 54 megabytes. Clicking the link takes you to a shared Google Drive folder, then just hit the download button. If you want to check the integrity of the file, you can do that by calculating the SHA-256 hash for the downloaded file and then comparing that to this long number here. So let's take a look at how to do that now. Open a command prompt and navigate to your downloads folder using the CD command. Then type the command cert util dash hash file and then the name of the file. Since I'm using Windows 11 and I auto-completed the name by pressing tab, you'll notice the dot and backslash in my command. Don't worry about that if you're using a different version of Windows. Then finally add SHA-256 to the end of the command since this is the hash type that RetroGames added to their site. Execute the command and compare the two values. It's a match, so we're good to go. Here is my USB drive and here is my downloads folder. Simply copy the new firmware file to the root folder of the USB drive and then eject the USB drive from the computer. Over on the A500 Mini, with it powered off, ensure that the mouse is disconnected and that you only have one gamepad connected. Then insert the USB drive directly into the A500 Mini and power it on. On the gamepad, press the menu button to bring up the options. Then select Advanced Options and then System Information. The new firmware is shown, so select Update. Then sit back and wait a few moments. Let's check that the A500 Mini took the firmware. So Menu, Advanced Options, and System Information. Yes, it's running version 1.1.1. Okay, let's put this to the test with Lemmings. This is a two disc game, and I've placed both of the ADF images into a directory on my USB stick. Okay, so to load, I select the USB icon. Here is my ADF folder, which I access with the A button. And within here are my two ADF files, disk 1 and disk 2. Select disk 1 as normal with the A button. Then to select disk 2, press the R button on the gamepad. And then start the game with the home button.
When prompted to swap a disk, simply press and hold the home button and then tap the R button. Great, with the latest firmware version 1.1.1, I'm able to load a multi-disc game using multiple ADF images. Nice one, Retro Games. I'm looking forward to see how this product grows with new features in the future. Press the home button to exit the game, and then to save, press the down button, followed by the A button. Subscribe for more videos like this.